Coming up on this edition of Turnaround Steery, we'll watch a video about these modern women that are complaining on social media, not understanding why men are no longer wanting to approach them. And I'll give you a theoretical thought like I always do. Join me for another all-new episode of Turnaround Steery coming up next on YouTube and on Facebook. I guarantee you it's going to be a damn good one. These modern women that you see on this video are steady complaining about men no longer wanting to approach them. If you'll stay tuned for another edition of Turnaround Theory right here on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook fan page, we're going to talk about why these modern women are steady in their feelings when they know good and well that men are no longer wanting to approach them. And later on, I'll give you a theoretical thought like I always do. We're already getting warmed up to season three of Turnaround Theory already. So fellas, y'all know my saying, and y'all know the drill. Grab a snack and come on back because... Y'all just might learn something. Roll that new intro. What is up everybody, once again it's your boy Mr. Turnaround aka Tenacious T and I want to welcome you back to another edition of Turnaround Steering right here on my YouTube channel as well as my Facebook fan page. This is the platform where I normally give you guys a free theoretical thought on uh, just about anything. Hey listen, if you are new to my YouTube channel, I want to personally welcome you and if you are in fact a returning subscriber, I welcome you back. And for those that are tuning in to this episode of Turnaround Theory on my Facebook fan page, and you're following me for the very first time, congratulations to you and welcome aboard. As a constant daily reminder, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my official YouTube channel. It would help out and it would be beneficial for the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on that post notification bell. Because you, my friends, will instantly be notified every single time your boy posts up and upload more additional content onto the channel. Please follow me on all social media sites. Links will be provided in the comment section below on my Facebook fan page, as well as on my YouTube channel. You can catch up on watching full episodes of Turnaround Theory on my official website. There will be a link provided in the description box below on my YouTube channel and in the comment section below on my Facebook fan page. If you also want to contribute to my YouTube channel through PayPal, there is a link provided in the description box below on my YouTube channel and in the comment section below on my Facebook fan page. Please don't forget to use the hashtag Team Turnaround that you see on your screen. That lets me know personally that not only you are watching this episode of Turnaround Theory, but it just goes to show that you are supporting my channel in terms of the content that I post up, and I might just send you a shout out right back. I do hope that I've covered everything within this matter, but before we get started, here's a quick word from today's sponsor. Ever get tired of those robo bully phone calls that you get on a daily basis? Do you ever get tired of the spam calls that you get normally on a daily basis? I know how you feel. I've been there, done that, wrote a t-shirt. That's why I've downloaded the Free Hire app. It identifies unknown numbers that you don't even recognize, even telemarketers, and what location they're calling from. Download the Free Hire app on Google Play or on the App Store. Hey, tell him you're truly Mr. Turnaround sent you. You ain't got to take my word for it. Now back to the program. As I was indicating earlier in the broadcast today, we're going to be looking at some videos about why these women are complaining on social media, not understanding that men no longer want to approach them. Now, we're already getting warmed up to the third season of Turnaround Theory with our fifth episode, so now I want to invite you to stay tuned because at the end of today's episode, I'm going to give you guys a free theoretical thought based on today's episode. So strap in, fellas, and fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be one hell of a bumpy ride. I want you to take a look at this video. This is about a young lady who's complaining why men are not wanting to approach women anymore. You're going to see why, because women are going to be in their feelings and they're all going to be mad as hell. But you be the judge. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But in the meantime, between time, y'all watch this video because I damn sure gonna come right back. <laughs> so um, I have a question for men. What's going on? Why don't you guys approach women anymore? 
if you can buy 30k for a car, you can pay 30k for me. Damn. That's the least amount of my money. The least? the least? Get the French toast out of here. No, obviously, it can be what? A payment plan? I'm done with the payment plan. Can you do like a Listen, down payment? Like, obviously, yeah. She's getting plowed this weekend and just referred to you as just some guy that she used to know. I have a question. Do men come with communication or do we have to buy that separately? No. Do women come with a decoder from all those hints y'all be speaking in? I just wish boys would think. Like, just think for a second. We do. That's why you have a ceiling fan above you. Because a man thought about it and invented it. And these LED strip lights. A man thought of that. Oh, and your AC unit? A man thought of that. Your Wolverine nails? A man thought of that too. Come to think of it, a man thought of everything that you use on a daily basis. Dang, that's tough. And now, all my friends have noticed that the man has stopped making the first move. All my girlfriends are like, they're waiting, it's the third date, fourth date, a week later, he hasn't gone in for the kiss, he doesn't do any touch or anything. I just don't know what's going to happen, and I'm worried that I'm, and all my friends, and like, we're all going to end up single. I realized today that I have nothing to offer a man. Nothing. And I feel like it took, number one, it took me uh, 32 years to realize it because I just found that out today. So I was today years old when I realized it. And then um, it took me a lot of pride swallowing to be able to admit it. The good men, where are they? I keep seeing that video. They're hiding. All of your videos of, you know, screaming and saying how much you hate men and your ics because I don't know, they breathe. Uh, they just decided they're going to be hiding for a while. They're done. They're taking a vacation from women. They're probably at home. If they're not at work, they're at home. And they're just watching TikToks of women horrified, being very, very happy that they made their choice to just be single and choose peace over crazy toxicity. I'm also a stripper. <laughs> now, what is... Damn. Um, oh. All right. Well, Nucci, that is all the balloons popped. Rejected. But we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for her, guys. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so the problem that men are having with women is that there are women who are sixes and they're trying to land men who are tens. And so you have this huge population of women going for this teeny, tiny, tiny population of men. So what I would recommend to women is to really get real about your level, right? Like don't lower your standards, just get real about where you measure up. So if you can look in the mirror and be like, okay, you know what? I'm a solid six, maybe seven, right? So then find other sixes and sevens. There are so many, right? The problem is people are cutting off their odds of meeting people because they're trying to date in this tiny, tiny window of people who aren't really for you. For some reason, something has happened in your life. Maybe you need therapy. He doesn't think you need therapy, <laughs> but something has happened that like somebody wrecked you because the way that you view men is so sad. I do not hate all men at all. I know that there are a lot of good men out there. I think. The ones... But they're not coming for you. <laughs> the good men aren't coming for you. And so I want you to, in the most loving way, I want you to look Whoa. at yourself and be like, why are the <laughs> good men not coming for yeah, me? Right? Like, guys be like, I miss her so much. <laughs> Baby, what do you miss? The days you always had to pay for? Your bank account always being empty? Or all the lies she told you? Forget her. You deserve better. I like this one. Uh, hello? Hi. Oh. Uh, remember me? Yeah, where are you? I'm here because I need a husband. Oh, well, I have like three kids now. That's okay. I like kids. I like them. All right, well, I have a second mortgage on my house and I'm in a lot of debt. Ah, that's easy. I'll stick by I, I'll stick beside you. I'll stick beside you. Yes. I only make 50000 a year and I drive a old Toyota and it uh, ah, needs to work. It needs work. I know a good mechanic, he'll give you a great deal. It's great. Okay. And um, I I don't really have any plans in life. I'm just going to play video games most of the day. I'll make the plans. I'm a great planner. <laughs> All right, well, come on in. It's okay. Let's do this. Okay. Some of y'all women are going to end up being single forever.
Hi. Sorry to bother you. Are you single? Yes. Okay, I'll take the chair. Thank you. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> What's your body count? Two. Three. Three? What was yours again? Mine's one. Huh? One? One. So three. <laughs> three? What the hell? Yeah, you gotta multiply by three. No, no, oh my god, no, literally Two. one. Like I every girl it, lies. Exactly, y'all <laughs> lying, right? Lying. Every girl on here, I guarantee, are lying. I saw a video the other day. A girl's like, men are afraid to come up to us. They're not afraid to come up to you. I mean, maybe some feel a little insecure, but by and large, they're just like, I don't need this aggravation today. I don't need some diva aggravation today because more often than not, what do you do? Ah, oh, you know. Mm nasty you know like a little mm, attitude mm, puckered lips you know the pucker look mm. they're tired they're tired they're tired of getting made fun of they're tired of, of being you know abused they're tired of getting you know oh i'm a meme now because why because i looked your way for two seconds in the gym guys i can't believe what just happened this girl this i don't want to put her on boss but this girl took me out to the restaurant and now she's telling me after we ordered, she ain't got enough money. I'm shaking. Wait, like, why? <laughs> why would you waste my time? Why would I'm you? Not... Why would you bring me out? My time is actually valuable. Yeah, but you didn't. You no, didn't... no, 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 <laughs> no. It's not how this works, guys. I can't actually believe it. Like, what is the point? If, if you're not in a position to date, don't be dating. What's the most simp thing that a guy has done for you? Oh, I'm going to New York um, on Monday with a guy that I barely know, and he got us the helicopter ride for 45 minutes over New York, and I barely talked to him. You a simp! Is there any chance something happens? He's really nice. I'm trying, but, like, I'm not... I, I've literally, like, I'm trying, okay? Like, you want to do that for me? Cool. Like, but honestly... I'm not going to... I don't trust men. What? I just walked by a construction site and nobody tried to holla at me. Did I lose it? So apparently single men are starting to become afraid to approach women in real life because they don't want to be viewed as creepy. Around like 53% according to this one study. There are a lot of single mothers who go after weak men. A lot of women will tell you all day, oh being a stepdaddy is honorable. They know damn well that man ain't gonna get nothing out of it. They know damn well that they can up and leave, take half of his income, get alimony. Depending on if they are able to swindle him into legally adopting the children, they can put him on child support. In certain states, you don't even have to have the man legally adopt him. If you can prove that he played a father figure role, you can put that man on child support. When men decide to take on responsibilities that are not theirs, they're taking a very big risk i do not see how it's worth it women are usually the ones that leave the relationships imagine getting into a relationship with a woman she got a child you become attached to the child then she up and leave knowing you got an attachment to that child and then she look at you and say you're not your kid no way women do it all the time a lot of women do it and they don't have no problem doing it men are better than women this is something that was hard for me to accept until today, when I read the article, 10 reasons why men are better than women. I mean, just from the headline alone, you can tell this is going to be really good. So I'm going to read you guys some of the reasons. Men are better at opening things. That's actually so true. I don't know how to open anything. I've never tried it, and I don't plan to. Men can drive. It says men use their rearview mirror to check their surrounding. Women use them to apply lipstick. That's true. Ladies, driving is for guys. Personally, I didn't even know the mirrors were to see other cars. I really thought it was for lipstick. <laughs> Jesus was a man. So true. Thank you. Come on, Donnie, you don't got the salmon too? Like, for real? I know you had to eat, but what I'm saying is, like, you know... You know how my budget is, like, I like, meet for, like, I can't keep buying all this expensive food. Hey, hey. Hey, did you get my strawberry lemonade? Hell, yes. yes. Oh, Thank hell you. no. Hell no. Uh-uh, who is what? this? This is my friend. Okay. Your friend? Oh, uh, who paying for food? Uh, you are. No. Okay, no. Stay put, everyone, because when I come right back, I'm going to give you guys a free favorite before to this episode right after this. 
What is up, everybody? I'm your boy, Mr. Turnaround, a.k.a. Tenacious T. I want to invite you to join me for a special Thanksgiving edition of Turnaround Theory exclusively on my YouTube channel as well as my Facebook fan page because we're going to be talking about some real good food and bringing in all the family, and we'll talk about what all are we thankful for. And plus, I will give you a special theoretical thought to this edition. So join me on November the 28th for a special Thanksgiving edition of Turnaround Theory on YouTube and on Facebook. What's up, guys? It's me again. Listen, don't forget to join me on December the 25th for a special Christmas edition of Turnaround Theory, where we'll be talking about the ultimate gift that keeps on giving. Plus, I'll give you a special theoretical thought to this episode as well. Join me on December the 25th for a special Christmas edition of Turnaround Theory on my YouTube channel as well as my Facebook fan page. Be sure to mark your calendar because if you miss out, oh well. Why men don't approach women anymore. So historically, women have always waited for men to make the first move. Is he going to go in for the kiss? Is he going to hold my hand? But now, whenever I talk to my friends about their dating history, all I hear them talking about is, oh, he hasn't made a move. He's not doing anything. We're not moving forward. So on the flip side of this, this normally ends up in men feeling like they're getting ghosted or that there's just being told there's no spark. And from what I'm hearing from a lot of my clients, it's not because that you're not attracted to her. It's more about fearing that you're either gonna get rejected, maybe you're gonna get turned down, you know, slapped in the face when you go for that first move, or even worse, like getting in trouble with the law. So you need to ask yourself, does this sound like you? The truth is you probably missed that golden opportunity to create that spark. And she likely was giving you signals that you just didn't quite catch. And now, turn around, steal radical thought. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Y'all know what time it is. This is always my favorite part of the segment. It's time for another edition of Turnaround Steel Medical Thought with yours truly, Mr. Turnaround, aka Tenacious T. Because in just a moment, I'm about to give you guys a free theoretical thought pertaining to today's episode about these modern women that are complaining on social media, realizing that men are no longer wanting to approach them. Now, here's a theoretical thought for the day. Baby girl, nice try. Because with all of the rumors that has been going on, you already done told your business online as it is anyway. No wonder why the feminist movement continues to thrive at an all-time high. And we as men, we are done tolerating with the BS that you women are talking about on a day-to-day -day basis. No damn wonder why the dating world is decreasing at an all-time low. In this case, what you saw on the video today is these modern women will not get a clue as to why men are done approaching with women. The truth of the matter is, men are more than likely going to go to jail even if they haven't done anything wrong with no bad intentions whatsoever. It's obvious that the feminist movement continues to rise at an all-time high. Women have a preference, but so do men. And men have chosen to go their own way and continue with the drizzle drizzle movement with that being said that is your theoretical thought for the day and this also concludes another edition of turnaround theory right here on my youtube channel as well as my facebook fan page please let me know what you think in the comment section below concerning today's video and as a constant daily reminder i want you to please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my official youtube channel it would help out and it would be beneficial for the youtube algorithm and don't forget to click on that post notification bell because you my friends will instantly be notified every single time your boy posts up and upload more additional content onto the channel now here is a sneak preview of next week's episode of turnaround theory and until then i'm mr turnaround aka tenacious t saying team turnaround out next time on turnaround theory now that I've dated plenty of wealthy men who come from different backgrounds, different stages of life, I've realized that there's more than just a wealthy man that I want. First off, a man can have so much money and not be generous. There's guys who won't spend a dollar, and then there's guys who want to nickel and dime you, and none of them don't work for me. That's next time on Turnaround Theory.